Hello friends, I'm George, the nice medic gentleman. Welcome back to the channel guys, I hope that all of you are doing good. Now in today's video I'm going to talk about an awesome rose based fragrance that comes from the house of Mason Alhambra. This thing is a very nice clone of uh, Initials Atomic Rose and it can also serve as a great alternative to Delina from Parfums de Marly. The fragrance is called Infinity Rose and in this video today I'm going to tell you why I like this so much. Now, unfortunately, I cannot find the box of uh, Infinity Rose. Uh, my son was playing with it a few days ago and he's probably stashed it somewhere. And then this is how the actual bottle looks. As you can see, if you are familiar with the bottle design of Initial Fragrances, uh, you'll immediately recognize that this is a clone of uh, an Initial Fragrance. It has a nice uh, feel to it. Uh, the bottle size is 100 milliliters. The concentration is EDP. The cap is plastic, uh, feels kind of cheap, but at the same time it's a snug fit uh, and the bottle has a nice heft to it and all in all the presentation is quite nice. If you enjoy my videos guys and you're not yet subscribed to the channel, please consider hitting the subscribe button. It will really mean a lot to me. In fact, that's what keeps me going. And also don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. Okay, now let's talk about the uh, note breakdown of this fragrance of uh, Infinity Rose from Mason Alhambra. At least as per Fragrantica, the breakdown has the following notes. The top notes are bergamot, pink pepper and heroin. The middle notes are Bulgarian Rose, Turkish Rose and Egyptian Jasmine. And the base notes are Amber and Vanilla. Let's check out the spray in action and then I'll talk about the actual scent of this fragrance. The spray is actually very very decent and now Onto the actual scent of this fragrance. Now, even if you're not familiar with the way that the original scents, you know, the Atomic Rose smells, uh, when you hear the name of this fragrance, you know, Infinite Rose, you'll probably guess that uh, this fragrance is uh, all about the rose note, and you'll be right. Immediately after spraying, you're greeted with a very fresh, slightly sweet uh, rose, you know, scent uh, that has a bit of uh, spiciness in the background. There's a touch of that uh, probably pink pepper or whatever is listed on the note breakdown. There is some freshness from a citrusy note uh, and also there's quite a lot of freshness from the jasmine note. You feel that floral kind of freshness somewhere in the background. But, uh, you know, the main player is the rose. And the main player is the rose from the opening to the late dry down. Once this uh, starts to dry down, you, you lose that uh, freshness from the citruses uh, in the opening, you lose that spiciness. Uh, some of that floral freshness from the jasmine still stays there on the background, but uh, again, the, you know, the late uh, the dry down and the late dry down are dominated by the combination of the rose notes plus those amber and vanilla notes. The opening feels slightly fresh and uh, not slightly but quite fresh with a touch of sweetness and the dry down is uh, all about uh, you know the uh, sort of a sweet mix of rose, amber and vanilla. All you know it's a very interesting uh, rose based fragrance. Uh, it's sweet but not overly sweet and at the same time has enough freshness uh, in the opening uh, without being uh, too heavy and also you know throughout the life of this fragrance on your skin this thing has an interesting sort of lightness to it. Uh, it doesn't bother your nose too much. It's not very heavy. It's not uh, very sweet. Uh, and all in all, I really, really like Infinity Rose. On to the similarities of uh, Infinity Rose to Atomic Rose, uh, you know, or how close this is to the original scent. And in fact, this is a very, very good clone of Atomic Rose. It's almost identical, especially in the air, but uh, there's a, a few minor things that uh, are different to my nose. And the main thing is that uh, Atomic Rose feels a little bit fresher compared to Infinity Rose in the opening and even on the dry down. Infinity Rose just uh, feels a little bit sweeter, but without uh, getting too sweet. So all you know, uh, closeness to the original scent, I would say, is uh, pretty, pretty good when it comes to Infinity Rose. If I have to talk about the performance of Infinity Rose, this is another area where this fragrance shines, uh, at least has shine on my skin. I've been getting about 9 hours of performance uh, from this fragrance uh, with a very, very nice projection in the first 2 to 2.5 two hours. Now, when you spray this thing, as I said, it feels kind of light in the air and you may end up thinking that, that this won't be a good performer, but uh, the reality is, at least with my experience and on my skin, is that this hangs on to skin pretty nicely and also projects pretty nicely. So, all in all, Infinity Rose is a very, very decent performer. 
when it comes to the price tag this is one of the slightly more expensive um, uh, Mason Alhambra fragrances. Uh, this usually around at least where I live. Uh, this costs around about the 32-35 euro mark. Although I was able to get uh, my bottle for 25 euros after some discounts. Uh, so all in all price wise uh, when you consider that this comes nicely packaged. Uh, it has a very interesting and good quality scent uh, and also has very decent performance. A price tag of about uh, 25 to 30 euros I think uh, is uh, at the end of the day a pretty decent deal. Versatility is another strong suit for this fragrance uh, because uh, it feels uh, it has enough sweetness and enough performance to work in cold weather it also has enough freshness you know both citruses and floral freshness uh, in the background and the whole you know rose note uh, in this fragrance uh, feels uh, kind of light and fresh this can also pretty work pretty much uh, in uh, warm weather as well as long as you don't really over spray i think uh, you know versatility wise this is a very versatile fragrance it's unisex but definitely leans a little bit to the uh, you know feminine side but i still think that guys can wear this uh, if they have enough confidence so oh you know infinite rose is actually a very very versatile fragrance and on to my final thoughts about uh, infinite rose from mason alhambra now when i started uh, my uh, fragrance collecting journey about uh, two years ago i didn't really like uh, rose based fragrances uh, at all but with the time you know my nose has uh, you know and my uh, preferences have uh, changed a little bit uh, and nowadays uh, I found quite a few rose based fragrances that I really enjoy and Infinity Rose is uh, at the top of that list. It's a really really nice uh, you know nicely done rose fragrance uh, that's pretty strong on the rose note but at the same time it's not too much in your face. It's not overly sweet. It has enough freshness uh, to work in uh, uh, you know warm weather has enough of a performance to work in cold weather and all you know I think uh, it's my Mason Alhambra have done a really really uh, good job with uh, this fragrance you know with Infinity Rose and just to add you know a little bit on top of that the fact that they've done a, a good job at replicating the original scent this thing is very close to Atomic Rose this can also serve as a great alternative to Delina from Parfums de Marly so again this fragrance is a great choice and a great alternative for people who love rose based fragrances and yet at the end of the day this thing uh, gets a huge like from me and there's uh, one you know little fact that uh, maybe this will discourage some guys from uh, wearing this and that's the fact that the scent profile leans a little bit to the feminine side definitely but as I said already I think guys can wear this one can rock this one as long as uh, they have enough confidence all you know infinite rose has turned out to be a great fragrance for me and so guys in today's video I showed you a great rose based fragrance from the house of Mason Alhambra called Infinity Rose. I hope that you found this video interesting. If you did, give it a like and I also hope that you're going to join me in my next video. And until then, stay safe and bye bye.